Picture two investors. Investor A exudes confidence, makes decisions quickly and seemingly effortlessly. Investor B on the other hand seems perpetually puzzled, always on the fence. What's the difference? Capital budgeting risk analysis. Now if you're wondering what that is, let's break it down. Capital budgeting is the process businesses use to decide whether long-term investments or projects are worth the funding. It's sort of like a business's own version of shopping for the best deal. But just like shopping there are risks involved. That's where risk analysis comes into play. It's the magnifying glass that lets investors like our friend Investor A examine potential threats and opportunities, giving them the confidence to make informed decisions. So, if you're an Investor B, don't worry. We're about to explore the nitty-gritty of risk analysis and its role in capital budgeting. So grab your calculators and notepads, we're about to dive into the world of risk analysis. Investing isn't a gamble, it's a calculated risk. The question is, how do we calculate this risk? When it comes to capital budgeting, we're not clairvoyance with a crystal ball. We're dealing with the future, and the future, my friends, is as certain as the weather forecast for next month. We're making estimations about future cash flows, not writing guarantees. And just like trying to predict the next viral dance trend, we're bound to be surprised. Just picture this, you're investing heavily in a project based on the latest hipster trend, say artisanal pickle juice. Your cash flow projections are looking as green as those pickles. But then, out of nowhere, the market swings. Suddenly, everyone's into kombucha and your pickle juice is left on the shelf. Or perhaps a new technology revolutionizes pickle juice extraction, leaving your traditional methods in the dust. These unexpected events can give your project a severe case of indigestion. Of course not all surprises are bad, maybe your pickle juice becomes the next big energy drink and your sales go through the roof. But without a crystal ball, how do we navigate this sea of uncertainty? That's where risk analysis steps in. Risk analysis is like your trusty compass in the storm of investment decisions. It helps us identify and assess potential threats and opportunities. It doesn't give us a foolproof map to buried treasure, but it does offer a flashlight to see the pitfalls and potential gold mines ahead. In short, risk analysis is not about eliminating uncertainty. If we could do that, we'd all be sipping cocktails on our private islands. No, risk analysis is about understanding uncertainty, about making friends with it. It's about knowing your risks as well as you know your opportunities and making informed decisions despite the unknown. So, to make smart decisions, we need smart tools. Let's take a look at some of them. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Tools, 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 every investor's best friend. But what are these tools? Well, let's dive right into the world of risk analysis tools used in capital budgeting. With these tools, you'll be able to navigate through the rough seas of investment decisions with a little more confidence. First on the list is scenario analysis. Imagine being able to see the future, the best case, the worst case, and the most likely outcome of your investment. That's what scenario analysis does. It's like having a crystal ball, but instead of vague predictions, it provides you with concrete potential outcomes based on your current data. Next up, we have sensitivity analysis. Now this is not about being touchy-feely with your investments. Sensitivity analysis is all about understanding how changes in key variables can impact the profitability of a project. It's like having a magnifying glass, allowing you to zoom in on factors like interest rates or sales volume and see how they could affect your bottom line. And then, there's the Monte Carlo simulation. Sounds fancy, doesn't it? Well, it is. This tool uses statistical techniques to model various possible outcomes. It's like playing a game of investment roulette, but you're not just blindly throwing your chips on the table. Instead, you're making calculated bets based on a range of potential results. But let's not forget, investing is not a one-size-fits-all game. Different tools might work better for different situations. So, it's important to have a well-stocked toolbox and know which tool to use when. But remember, not everything is about numbers. Some risks are qualitative. So, while these tools can help you make informed decisions, they're not magic wands that will make all risks disappear. They're more like compasses, guiding you through the unpredictable world of investments, helping you make better decisions despite the inherent uncertainties. All right, you've crunched the numbers, but what about the risks you can't quantify? In the world of capital budgeting, it's not just about the dollars and cents. Sure, we've got our calculators, our spreadsheets, and our fancy financial models, but there's more to the story. There are risks that aren't as easy to put into a spreadsheet. These are the qualitative risks, and they're just as important as the numbers. Let's start with operational risks. These are the risks that come from the day-to-day -day running of your business. 
Maybe your project gets delayed. Maybe there are unforeseen maintenance requirements that weren't in the budget. These are the things that can throw a wrench in your well-laid plans and have a significant impact on your project's success. Next up, we've got market risks. These are the risks that come from changes in the market, fluctuations in demand, shifts in competition, changes in regulations. These can all impact your project's profitability. And let's face it, the market is about as predictable as the weather. One day it's sunny and clear, the next it's pouring rain and your picnic is ruined. And finally, there are the technological risks. We're living in a world of rapid technological advancement, and while new technology can create opportunities, it can also create risks. What if the technology your project relies on becomes outdated? Or what if a new advancement disrupts your industry? These are factors that can significantly impact your project's success. So you see, capital budgeting isn't just about crunching numbers. It's about understanding the full picture, the whole story. It's about considering all the potential risks, both quantitative and qualitative. Now that we've identified the risks, let's talk about mitigating them. Because after all, knowing your risks is only half the battle. The other half is figuring out what to do about them. But that's a conversation for another time. For now, just remember, in the world of capital budgeting, it's not just about the numbers. It's about going beyond them. Fear not where there are risks, there are also strategies to manage them. When it comes to capital budgeting, it's all about playing the game wisely. And to do that, you need a solid game plan. This is where risk management strategies come into play. First up, we have contingency plans. Like a spare tire in your car, a contingency plan is your backup for when things go awry. It's your plan B, C, and D. It's about asking yourself, what if our projected sales drop by 10%? Or what if our production costs skyrocket? By having alternate plans in place, you're better prepared to navigate the unpredictable tides of business. Next, we have diversification. It's like the old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. In the context of capital budgeting, this means not investing all your capital into a single project. Instead, spread your investments across multiple projects. That way, if one project sinks, the others can stay afloat, keeping your overall portfolio healthy. And finally, we have flexibility. In the ever-changing business landscape, being rigid is a recipe for disaster. Flexibility in capital budgeting means maintaining the option to adjust the scope of your project or even delay decisions based on new information. It's about being adaptable, nimble, and ready to pivot when needed. These strategies aren't about eliminating risk, that's an impossible task. Instead, they're about managing risk, about turning the unknown into a navigable path. They're about making the best possible decisions in the face of uncertainty. So remember, when it comes to capital budgeting, it's not about avoiding risks. It's about understanding them, planning for them, and managing them. Because at the end of the day, risk analysis doesn't eliminate uncertainty, it helps make better decisions despite it. So, you've analyzed the risks, managed them, now what? Well, the next step is to make an informed choice. Making decisions in business is a lot like playing a game of chess. It's all about strategy, foresight, and the ability to weigh potential rewards against the identified risks. A well-calculated move can lead to a checkmate while an impulsive decision can lead to a stalemate or even a loss. In the game of capital budgeting, risk analysis is your secret weapon. It helps you identify potential threats and opportunities, allowing you to make strategic moves. It's like having a crystal ball that doesn't exactly predict the future but gives you a pretty good idea of what could happen. One of the key roles of risk analysis is to prioritize projects. Not all projects are created equal. Some offer high rewards but come with high risks. Others might have lower risks but also lower potential returns. It's like choosing between a risky gambit and a safe, steady play in a chess game. You might be tempted to go for the high-risk, high-reward project but remember, it's not just about the potential profitability. You also need to consider the likelihood of success. Risk analysis also helps in allocating resources strategically. It's not just about where to put your money but also where to put your time, energy, and talent. By identifying the projects with the highest potential returns and the lowest risks, you can ensure that your resources are used most effectively. It's like choosing which chess pieces to move and when. But let's not forget, risk analysis doesn't eliminate uncertainty. It's not a magic wand that makes all risks disappear. It's more like a compass that points you in the right direction. There will always be unexpected events and uncertainties in business, 
but with risk analysis, you can navigate these choppy waters with confidence. In the end, it all comes down to making informed decisions. And remember the best decisions are those that are based on a thorough understanding of both the risks and rewards. So, keep analyzing, keep strategizing, and keep making those smart moves. Remember, informed decisions are the best decisions. So, what have we learned today? We've dived deep into the world of capital budgeting and risk analysis. We've discovered the inherent uncertainties that accompany investing and how risk analysis tools like scenario analysis, sensitivity analysis, and Monte Carlo simulations can help us navigate these murky waters. Beyond the numbers, we've acknowledged the importance of qualitative factors, like operational, market, and technological risks. We've also explored strategies to mitigate these risks, such as contingency plans, diversification, and maintaining flexibility in our decisions. Weighing the potential rewards against the identified risks, we've underscored the significance of using risk analysis to prioritize projects and allocate resources strategically. Remember, risk analysis doesn't eliminate uncertainty, it helps us make better decisions despite it. So, go ahead, incorporate risk analysis techniques into your capital budgeting process, and remember, managing risk is the key to successful and sustainable business growth. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on capital budgeting and risk analysis.